we're going to investigate the basics of a process that's referred to as sweeping. The top right of the workspace you'll see some flashing arrows and the text create solids. This is referring to the solid tool set. You can consider uh, all of these manual functions of 3Design. If we click on the text, you'll see the icon changes and we're now in the jeweler's bench. This is where the jewellery specific functions and wizards of 3Design are located. Most of these tools are utilising several combinations of manual functions to achieve common jewellery tasks in an easy and swift manner. In here, under ring creation, we're going to find the sweeping wizard. Although it's not a, a one-stop shop for sweeping, it allows us to create a large variety of different bands quickly and easily. Left click on that. In the Properties tab, ensure that you're working in a precious metal by clicking on the hand and double clicking on the desired metal in the Materials database. For sweeping to take place, you need to have two ingredients. You need to have parts and you need to have sections. This first tab is asking us about the path. Because we didn't have a path created or selected, the wizard is going to generate a path based on a finger size. Select your desired finger size. In my case, I'm going to select UK size M. In the sections tab, all we can see is a pick list. To add a section, we need to click on the plus sign. In doing so, we'll see more tabs appear. Each one of these tabs relates to an option that's available to apply to our section. The first tab allows us to select our section and position it somewhere on the path. The second tab has alignment options to align our cross section in relation to the path. The third tab allows us to manually move our section off the curve. The third tab allows us to manually move our section off the path. The fourth tab allows us to rotate our section. The fifth gives us the ability to scale our section. And in the sixth tab, we can generate mirror options. So the first tab is asking us for our section details. And you can notice we've got the white hand. We can always click on a hand and select a cross section that we've drawn. As we don't have any pre-drawn sections, we'll select one from the library. Next to the hand, you'll notice these books that's the icon for the library. Clicking on this icon will raise the library from the bottom of the workspace. On the left hand side we can see we've got a directory it allows us to go to symbols, 2D symbols, shanks and we're going to double click on the half round cross section. Now we get a better visual. We can drag the red ball to reposition our section or we can click on the yellow arrows. Click on the yellow arrow at the top of our ring. Now we're going to go to the fifth tab which allows us to give our section a scale. In the width we're going to enter 6 and press tab on your keyboard. You'll notice automatically the height of the section changed input a different measurement we need to untick the keep ratio box and let's give it a width of 6 and a height of 1.8 and validate by clicking on the green tick. The process of sweeping runs the section along the path to create a solid shape. In this case we've got a lovely half round winner. But sweeping can allow us to achieve much more complicated geometry. Let's have a look at this by adding in a second cross section. To do this we're going to double left click on our ring to open back up the properties. In our sections list click on the plus to add another section. This duplicates our first section. We're going to go to the first tab and choose from the library a different section. In this case, let's go for the Hershey. 
and click on the yellow arrow at the base of the ring and validate. Okay, now we can see how the process of sweeping blends one section into the other as it follows around the path. We have our half round at the top and the Hershey shape at the bottom. Let's take a closer look at some of the other options available in this tool. Double left click on the ring to bring up its properties. First thing, let's change the Hershey section to another shape. We'll do that by going to the first tab, clicking on the books. In the library, we'll go to 2D symbols, shanks, Scrolling down towards the bottom, you'll find the square round corner section. Double click on that. We're going to position this at the side of the ring by clicking on one of these yellow arrows. Go to the sixth tab and we're going to apply a mirror type of mirror we'll apply is a vertical plane. You can see there's a copy of our cross section on the other side. Now we're going to have a bit of a play with our first cross section. So going back to our list, we're going to select section one, going to the first tab of section and changing our cross section to these symbols, shanks, and we'll pick the shield cross section. Okay, let's go to scale and change the width to two and the height to three. We'll click on the eye, we'll update our visuals. So we can see that it's going from this square round section up to our shield shape and then back down to our square round section. Let's go to the move tab and we'll grab this red arrow here and shift our cross section off to the side of the ring and click on the eye. See that moves the section off the path. We're still going to sweep through the section and continue on. We can go to the fourth tab for rotate. Let's add in 45 degree rotation, shift it up a little bit, and click on the eye, and see how it rotates the section as well. So the Sweeping Wizard gives us a lot of opportunities to play around with our shapes and explore some different options.